We're talking about DMX, we're talking about Prince, we're talking about Michael Jackson, we're talking about Whitney Houston. It happens to a lot of people out there that suffer from this condition. You know, they try to leave this, this drug problem. They try to leave, but they can't just leave because they don't have that willpower, that strong willpower to leave. guys and welcome back to the channel this is your girl again Zion me mom and Zion how y'all doing I hope you're having a great weekend um, and I hope everyone is doing fine it's really 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 good to be back as always guys today um, I just want to address or talk about um, what is trending right now which is the death of um, X and the death of Prince Philip um, most importantly DMX death because I will couple of things to actually say concerning DMX death. The reason why I want to talk about, I'm sorry guys, excuse me. The reason why I say I have a couple of things or, or the reason why I say I want to address something concerning X's death is because, um, is because it had to do with drugs. Well, at least it is alleged that he died of drug overdose i read a story i read i read online he died of drug overdose i read as well that he, he died of um of a heart attack so i don't know which one is is i don't know which one is but i know um reading interviews from or watching interviews from dmx in the past and um um just watching some 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 of his videos he talks about his struggle with drugs you know um you guys drug drug is it drug use is or should i say illicit drug use it's something it's something that is really really serious you know um people die of this a lot now the thing is you might think that it's not it's it's not really rampant it is it is just think about it think about Heath ledger think about michael jackson think about prince think about whitney houston and now dmx it is all alleged that they died of a drug overdose so you can just imagine how much of an issue drug is in this society you know it is just this this names that i just called these are people that you know them these are people that you see them on tv all the time what about the people that you don't even know what about the people that live in your neighborhood that live in your city that live in your state that live across your, the state that you don't even know them but they they struggle with this epidemic and and eventually some of them they die of it some of them they you know they go to rehab and they make it out some some don't even go and some some end up dying like the case of the some of the names that i or the names that i just uh, or, or mentioned you know it, it is it is actually a uh, it is actually a big problem. I'm gonna read something that I, I, I found online. It, just imagine, guys. It's saying here that in 2019, 2019, right? 70,630 drug overdose deaths occurred in the United States. In the United States alone, 70,630 deaths. Almost, it, it's, oh my God. That's too many, that's too many death for drug or for drug use or for drug overdose. That's, that's just too many death. This is, this is a serious problem. Now, if, if you meet someone that struggle with this kind of a situation, with this kind of, this is a disease, I call it, it is. This is a condition that, you know, now, if you have a friend, or if you have a relative, or if you have, or you know someone, or you meet somebody that, you know, deals with this kind of situation in their lives, that struggle with this this um, drug overdose issue. I'm oh, sorry, that struggles with this uh, drug problems. It's not a laughing matter. It's not a matter to to just talk about it and just you know try to try to help them get help for themselves. You might just be saving a life. You never know. You might. 
just be saving a life. I tell you the truth. This we can't just sit and, and just talk about it and not do anything about it and just laugh at them or just you know gossip about them or oh, that 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 one uses drugs or that that one is is high or you know just make derogatory statements or you know just be mean to people that suffer this kind of condition it is it's something that can eventually lead to their death but if you take it seriously if i take it seriously and we seek help for them we help them help themselves we might just be saving a life you know if you go back and watch some of dmx's um videos you see him talk about his struggles with drugs you really feel sorry for this man it's like it's like he's been trying to he's been trying to leave the drugs but he's not able to and it happens to a lot of people out there that suffer from this condition you know they try to leave this this drug problem they try to leave but they can't just leave because they don't have that willpower that strong willpower to leave to walk away they don't so that's why when you see people struggling with something like this you you want to give your own two cents to help them you might not know you don't know it might just be that your two cents that is going to save their life or their lives you know the people that you meet that struggle with this it might just be the little thing that you have you might share with them that you may talk to them you may you know suggest to them that may just it may just be a, the turning point in their life it may just be that that thing that they want to hear at that time that will make them make that decision that will be that will make them have that strong willpower to say you know what i'm done i'm done with this thing i'm done you, you don't never know you know when i watch when i watch dmx i, I watch the videos the videos that he's talking about his, his drug use and his struggles with drugs i feel so sorry for the man i feel so i mean i feel so 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 sorry in fact uh, there was a video that i watched of him he was granting an interview and he was talking guys this man could, could barely get get words out of his mouth it's like he was so high talking and he, he could barely he was talking and you could see him like he was doing like this you could tell that you know this thing is in the system and it's just like it's just like eating him up and he he really wants to free himself of it but he can't and so it ha it's happening with a lot of people out there a lot of people now you don't even know you know why because you don't know them. We're talking about DMX, we're talking about Prince, we're talking about Michael Jackson, we talk about Winnie Houston, because these are public figures that you see on TV every day. You see on TV all the time. And 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 and, and that, that's that's why. But like I said before, there there are so many, 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 many Michael Jacksons out there. There's so many Winnie Houstons out there. There's so many DMXs out there. There's so many there's so many of these people out there, guys. If you can just empathize with their situation and show them empathy when we run into them and try to give them the help that they need, we might just be saving a life. Honestly, we just might be saving a life. It, it, it just um, it just saddened my heart to see a grown man like that struggling with something like that and, um, and then ended up dying from... The demon that is struggling from that he's been fighting all his life to to you know this 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 demon that X has been fighting all his life is the demon that finally ended up claiming his life. That is sad. I watched an interview that the sister granted after X's death, and the, uh, another interview that the brothers were granted, and they were all talking in tears, as in serious tears. Like guys, it's so it's so sad to have lost this man um, in the way that. Um, we lost him you know it, I mean people like that <coughs> excuse me it's a fight for for, for for them you know try to stay clean try to stay try to live a normal they have all this wealth but they're not happy they're not you know they have this demon that they're constantly fighting and this demon takes away from their peace their joy you know because they're constantly fighting this demon even when they go out there sometimes Golly, guys. Mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, my conclusion here. My first of all, my condolences to the ex's family and um, to all his fans. 
Oh. That's another life that's been taken by drugs. You know, just imagine this in 2019, 70,630 souls died of drug overdose. If you're watching me right now, you know anybody by any chance that has is struggling with this situation, get them help. Help them help themselves by talking to them, suggesting rehab to them, be nice to them. You might, you don't know, you might just be that angel that saves them. You don't know. You don't know, guys. I hope that X finds peace wherever he is. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. But, um, and, and again, we get the death of Prince Philip. It's like this death just happens back, back to back. And DMX died, he was just 50, he was 50, just 50. Prince Philip died at the age of 99. <laughs> if I could reach that 99 years old, guys, that's a life worth celebrating, you know? It's not like he died young. You know, last two weeks or last week, we, um, Bushiri lost his daughter. If you don't know who Bushiri is, one of the prophets in South Africa, the Bushiri is a, is a Malawian prophet that is based in in South Africa. The daughter was sick and lost her life. I think she was eight years old only, or 13, eight or 13, one of those. Now, that's a young life. That's a life that we can cry and cry and cry. Like, oh my God, she didn't even leave, you know that long she was only 13 or she was only eight and she died we were talking about prince philip here who was 99 years old you know this man lived all his life you know um standing behind the queen 70 years of marriage to the queen you know wow and y'all know the queen of england is the longest reigning monarch and prince philip haven't they i think they married in their 20s or thereabout and prince philip has been being there and there's so much that this man had to give up he gave up his his own thing that he was doing in life when he met his wife the queen of england right now he gave up a lot like like his his last name i think is one of the rules of the british monarch you know if you're married to the queen or to you know you your children cannot bear your last name so this man knowing that he's married the queen knowing that none of his children are going to carry his last name but he gave that up he's been behind the queen most of the time the, the fact that he's not standing in front but he's the backbone of you know he's the, he's always support supported his wife in everything that he has done he's done so much for that country i just hope that the, the queen finds peace it's going to be so i can just imagine how difficult it can be for the queen you know to to live life right now with somebody that you've lived your life with for over 70 years and suddenly that person is that person is not there anymore the first person that you see when you wake up in the morning and the last face you see when you go to bed for 70 years or plus and then suddenly that person is gone gone for good you're not seeing them no more just imagine that so it, it probably is going to be a, kind of difficult for her but i hope that she finds a peace i hope that the the, the british family and the britons the you know just accept it it's a life worth to celebrate and my condolences to the family um so guys this is all i wanted to talk about today i hope that you were able to take something out of this video today um i really don't have much much to say it was just me talking about dmx and um of course prince philip and addressing this drug issue that is that is like a plague in our community today so you guys i'll see you in my next video but if you're seeing this face for the very first time again my name is zion and if you have not subscribed guys go ahead and subscribe and then turn on your post notifications that way when i upload the video you will get the notifications okay guys and if you're if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome back and thank you for always supporting me and coming back and watching my videos if you have any questions for me if you want me to do a video on anything if you have any personal questions for me if you want to know anything about me please feel free you can contact me on my dm instagram dm Zion Efrek and follow me there and you can ask me any questions or you can comment down in the comment section below. I will be very very happy to answer your questions.
question. So with that, guys, you guys have a very, very great weekend. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye, guys. Bye.